morning, everyone. It's an honor to be here at KubeCon, CloudNativeCon, North America in beautiful Salt Lake City. As mentioned before, my name is Kasper Bo Nissen. Uh, I'm a staff platform engineer at Lunar. Um, and yeah, let's get on with this. Today, I'm excited to discuss something that is rapidly changing the face of businesses. Generative AI, and more specifically, how platform engineering can pave the way for democratizing generative AI. So generative AI plus platform engineering equals love. Or more specifically, platform engineering paves the way for democratizing generative AI. So let's start with the big picture. According to recent surveys done by Gartner, McKinsey, and more, 65% of organizations now regularly using the uh, generative AI across multiple functions. And furthermore, 96% of companies expect AI to become a key enabler of business growth and, uh, and operational improvements. However, significant challenges remain. 49% of companies struggle to estimate and demonstrate the AI's business value. And only 9% of organizations were considered AI mature. And this brings me to the core of the discussion. AI isn't just for a few experts uh, locked in a department or team. It should not be seen as something complex that only select individuals can harness. Instead, we need to democratize generative AI and make it available for every team and every function across the organization. But how do we get there? This is where the principles of platform engineering comes in. In cloud-native environments, platform engineering helps streamline access to resources and tools, reducing complexity and cognitive load. And by applying the same principles, we can ensure that AI is not an isolated tool, but something that is woven into the fabric of the business. So let's take a closer look at the core principles of uh, platform engineering and how they apply to, uh, to AI. A self-service platform allows teams to easily access AI tools without technical bottlenecks. This reduces cognitive load, enabling faster experimentation and iteration, and removes frustration. Providing clear APIs ensures that AI capabilities can be integrated and automated across different business processes. This removes the need for teams to constantly reinvent the wheel. And by offering a predefined, secure, and compliant path for AI integration, we allow teams to move quickly while staying aligned with organizational guidelines. And every team's AI needs are different. A modular approach allows teams to adopt or combine capabilities based on their specific use cases. And platforms should be built with a focus on features that benefit the many and not the few. AI should be a shared service that evolves with the business and not a siloed project. And finally, platforms must enforce uh, key security and compliance rules, ensuring that AI deplo deployments protect both the organization and its customers. And a common misconception is that adopting AI requires building out complex infrastructure uh, with GPU clusters and heavy investments. But that's not always necessary, at least not in the beginning. You can be pragmatic, start small, and scale up. Um, and with the discoveries of nowadays LLMs, one shot or few shot learning, which refers to a model's ability to perform a task by learning from one or just few examples due to its extensive pre-training, can actually take you quite far. And if you're combining that with rack retrieval augmented generation, where you can query your own data, you can come a long way before needing complex infrastructure to fine tune models, et cetera. So maybe we don't all need to run our models in Kubernetes, at least not in the beginning. But how do we build an architecture that will allow services to utilize generative AI? We can leverage cloud providers directly, or we can host LLMs ourselves and do inference directly to provide these capabilities and start small. However, by building our AI architecture around an LLM gateway, we can create an evolutionary system that's capable of adopting to changes in the industry. And the LLM gateway allows developers to easily access language models with built-in capabilities, such as enforcing company policies, providing access control, rate limiting, observability, cost management, and more. Basically, it acts as a hub to expose LLMs in a controlled and scalable manner. And this modular and scalable architecture allow us to keep up with innovations without needing to overhaul the infrastructure every time there's a new advancement. So we can consider the LLM gateway as part of the platform capabilities provided centrally as a self-service uh, solution. And we can further empower our platform by incorporating vector storage and embedding models, uh, enhancing retrieval augmented scenarios, as, as I just mentioned before. And by extending our platform layers in this way, we can grant de developers with even greater capabilities. 
So integrating vector storage allows AI models to efficiently manage complex search queries, and this proves especially valuable for organizations aiming to personalize user experience. And these diverse capabilities enable developers to apply generative AI across a multitude of use cases. So let's take a real world example from the company that I work at, uh, where we have made this, uh, uh, where this has actually made a real impact. Luna is a challenger bank in Scandinavia, and we have of course also been experimenting uh, with AI and how to uh, embed these capabilities into our platform to provide developers with these generative AI capabilities. At Luna, our journey began with modest steps, focusing on a manageable proof of concept, leveraging open AI models. From there, we started to build out the APIs and an LM gateway to scale. And fast forward to today, an AI has transformed our customer service operations. Over 60% of text communica communication uh, with customers is now handled by AI without human intervention. As a result, we have achieved a 93 reduction in support resolution time and a workload shift where AI now takes on the equivalent of 13% of our full-time staff's work. This has freed up human teams to focus on value-adding and creative tasks while allowing AI to handle the more repetitive and mundane work. And if we take the picture from before and add the solution that we built at Luna, we have reused our investment in cloud native and built fairly simple Go services um, that allow us to provide our developers with access to generative AI in a simple and a controlled manner. We expose consistent and clear APIs with gRPC, allowing developers to choose the model they need from the catalog we provide as a platform team. All of these services operate within our Kubernetes-based infrastructure, featuring secure communication through LinkedD, GitOps with Flux, and monitoring with Prometheus and FANAS. And beyond the earlier example, we have numerous, numerous instances of generative AI in action. For instance, our platform teams are now leveraging AI in many of the tools they are providing to our developers. So in summary, how do we adopt AI in our organizations and prove its value? Well, AI isn't a team, it's not a department or single tool. It should be available for everyone to use. And apply the principles of platform engineering to your AI platform to scale up the adoption and truly make AI available to anyone in your, in, in your organizations. So my advice is really to start small, but start smart and utilize your existing cloud native investments wisely. Build your AI platform in a way that allows for rapid iteration and scaling, but don't overcomplicate things from the get-go. The cloud native ecosystem provides a versatile toolbox, empowering you to select the tools that best fit your organization's needs. And the flexibility ensures that as your company or as your organization grows, your cloud native solutions can scale seamlessly alongside it. As we look ahead, opportunities for AI are vast. And by integrating it into our platforms, AI becomes a tool for everyone and not just a few. Whether it's enhancing customer experiences, optimizing internal processes, or driving innovation, platform engineering gives us the framework to democratize AI in a scalable, secure, and cost-effective way. But as this image also demonstrates, the technology is not flawless and requires a lot of consideration, security, compliance, etc. So as you continue to build your platforms, remember that AI is here, it's evolving rapidly, and it's something that every team in your organization should be able to leverage. You can come a long way with reusing your existing platform and start providing your developers with these capabilities in a controlled and secure manner. Thank you, and have a fantastic KubeCon.